In this episode, we will install Tailwind inside of our project and we'll configure post CSS and auto prefix it. Let's go ahead using an NPM and we'll install as a dev dependency, the exact version of Tailwind.css, auto prefixer and post CSS. These will be installed as dev dependencies and we can next use the MPX command for Tailwind.css to initialize a new Tailwind configuration file and if we pass the dash p flag, we can also create that post css.config file as well. With that now successfully executed, we can see here we have the tailwind.config and the post css.config.js. We won't be adding anything to the post css.config right now, but inside of tailwind.config.js, we need to tell Tailwind where the content will live for all of our pages and components. And we can use some glob in here so for the first item in the array, this will be our pages folder. And here we'll pick any file instead of any folder that ends with .js, .ts, .gsx, or .tsx. Let's copy this and let's include the components folder that we created in the previous video as the second item in the array. That's all we need at this point. We can now move on over to the app.tsx file. Inside of here, at the top of the file, let's go ahead and import tailwind.css from the Tailwind CSS package. This is all we need to do right now to configure Tailwind in our project. And if we move to the index page, let's add some class names to the H1 so we can check that everything is working as we expect. Let's add some color to our text. Next, let's set the text as text XL. And now if we start the server by running npm run dev, this will boot the server on localhost 3000. So let's head on over to the browser and see what this looks like. This doesn't look like too much, but we can already see that our text is purple and it's a little bit larger than the default. And this is because if we inspect the item on the page, we can see here that we've got some color coming through through CSS variables from the Tailwind package. So this is excellent. We've got Tailwind fully installed in our project and it's working and shown inside of the browser.